Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Has the People's Daily ever said anything? That is to ask China to give up all illusions and insist on independent research and development of core technologies. Only in this way can it avoid being caught by other countries and prevent China from being controlled by others in various fields. At the beginning, many people didn't feel much about this sentence, but when the United States continued to sanction China's chip industry, and the United States continued to unite with alliances of various countries to block Chinese chip companies in every possible way, China finally realized that what the People's Daily said was right, especially when domestic chips were mass-produced at 14 nanometers. All countries began to act uncharacteristically, claiming to follow the pace of U.S. sanctions only. To find out that the People's Daily was too right. In the past, China was still at the manufacturing level of the 90 nanometers process in the field of lithography machines. After ASML shipped 23 DUV lithography machines to SMIC in the first quarter of 2022, it is even more along with Huawei's successful realization in 2023. After the localization of 14 nanometers chip design EDA tools, China has officially possessed the strength to manufacture 14 nanometers chips. Not only that, but also Harbin Institute of Technology and Shanghai Microelectronics have made major breakthroughs in lithography machine technology. Whether it is Harbin Institute of Technology or Shanghai Microelectronics, the lithography machine technology developed by them will help China's domestic chips to integrate chip manufacturing processes. Shrinking to 7 nanometers, that is to say, soon, China will officially have the strength to manufacture 7 nanometers chips. However, what people never expected is that just after China achieved 14 nanometers mass production in the chip field and when China made a major breakthrough in the field of lithography machines, Japan and the Netherlands made clear statements. For example, Japan officially announced that it would cut off the supply of 23 types of chip manufacturing equipment, and the Netherlands also stated that it would no longer provide lithography equipment to China. In particular, they also expressed their willingness to follow the pace of U.S. sanctions. The breakthrough has already touched their interests, so they don't hesitate to lose the Chinese market, and they also want to sanction China with the United States. So what is going on? You know, in the past, Japan has been silent about the chip war between China and the United States. Toshiba even said that it would build a debutified chip production line in order to keep the Chinese market. The same is true for the Netherlands. In order to keep the Chinese market, the Netherlands has repeatedly stated that it will not decouple from China and that it will not follow the pace of U.S. sanctions. However, when domestic chips have achieved mass production of 14 nanometers chips, they collectively turned against the water, claiming to follow the pace of sanctions in the United States. What is the reason for this? In fact, this sends a dangerous signal to China, and this signal is that they, like the United States, want to deal with China's chip industry. As Bill Gates said, the United States sanctions on China's chip industry will only speed up China's chip independence. The pace of the rise of globalization, does it mean that the United States is not aware of this serious consequence? Now that China has made breakthroughs in both the chip field and the lithography machine field, this serious consequence has already appeared, including Japan and the Netherlands. The industry is going to hell. 
Japan masters the raw materials in the semiconductor field, the Netherlands masters the most core lithography equipment in the semiconductor field, and the United States masters the core light source technology and industrial design software in the semiconductor field, including TSMC's packaging technology. That is to say, from chip design to manufacturing to packaging, they are completely stuck in China's neck. If they don't choose to stop the development of Chinese chips at this time, once China completely solves the bottleneck problem, then they want to stop the rise of Chinese chips. It is also completely impossible, so now their only choice is to put the Chinese chip industry to death. Why do you say that? Because sanctions will lead to the rise of China's chip industry, and China will not stop the pace of self-independence without sanctions. That is to say, no matter what they do, China's chip industry will eventually rise. Once China's chip industry rises, it will make them lose more market share, so their only choice is to prevent the development of China's chip industry through sanctions, or slow down the speed of development. Only in this way can they successfully maintain their advantages in the chip field and then use their advantages to keep China's development in check. That is to say, it is not that they do not know the consequences of sanctions, but that they know that even without sanctions, Chinese chips will still rise. However, as far as China's chip industry is concerned, there is only one way for China to go, that is, as the People's Daily said, China should give up all illusions and realize independent research and development. Only when the neck is stuck can China's semiconductor industry usher in a truly healthy and stable development. Independent research and development of semiconductors is the only way for China, and it is also one of China's important strategies in the future industry. ASML of the Netherlands expressed its support for China's independent research and development of semiconductor equipment. This statement will provide more support for China's semiconductor equipment industry and will also inject more vitality into the development of the world's semiconductor industry. All countries have their own development plan and this plan may not always be the same as the will of some countries. Therefore, the country's development plan should not be equated with the ideas of other countries. In the face of sanctions and suppression, China needs to strengthen its confidence and move forward according to its own plan and route. What do you think of this? Welcome to leave a message to discuss in the comment area.